Yeah, I went to my family doctor. He and my wife were uh, getting references to surgeons so that I could go under the knife and get this cleared up. They did suggest surgery, and so then I was referred by my family doctor to a uh, neurosurgeon. Invading your back is an important and risky event. Um, please consider other options. When you have back surgery, the doctor cuts into the back. In the case of a herniated disc, the doctor may remove the disc and replace it with screws or bone grafts. The spine, however, acts as a single unit. Such drastic altering of one section can cause a host of problems in the future, such as putting pressure on the other discs, which could lead to more surgeries. Uh, opening the back has risks. Uh, a number of patients come to need a second and a third and a fourth operation. Uh, I would want to explain to that patient that I would hope that this surgery I would do for him or her would be the only surgery, but I can't guarantee that. You will also have the risk of general anesthesia, infection, and a hospital stay, plus scarring from the surgery not to mention physical rehabilitation and lost time from work. In a 2002 Johns Hopkins white paper report, researchers found that only 5% of back pain sufferers were good candidates for surgery. A study by the Orthopedic Clinic of North America indicated there are 25,000 to 50,000 failed back surgery cases every year, often resulting in worse pain than before surgery. Failure rates range from 30 to 40 percent. 